Hey everyone, Emily here and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be testing out another air fryer recipe and I'm really excited to see how this one turns out. I typically love cauliflower wings and I thought that that might be a great base to make kind of a copycat orange chicken but with cauliflower bites. So I'm going to combine a couple of recipes I found online for cauliflower wings and for the sauce for a copycat Panda Express orange chicken. We'll see how this turns out. Let's get started. Let's get started by making the batter for the cauliflower bites. So I'm going to kick this off with a half cup of water. And I'll link the recipe that I'm following online for both of the components here. I'm just using a recipe for some buffalo cauliflower wings and leaving off the buffalo sauce. Half cup of milk. I'll season that with about a half teaspoon of onion powder, good amount of garlic powder. I'm just going to eyeball it, but I will list all of the exact proportions in the description box below. A little bit of salt, pepper, and some smoked paprika. I'll give this a little mix together to combine the spices with all of the wet ingredients and then I'm going to add in flour. Now, this is gonna be a pretty loose batter. It's going to be kinda of like a tempura batter, not too thick, and so there's only about three quarters of a cup of flour in this. And then just mix this to combine until there aren't any big lumps. There can still be a few small lumps, but you want it to be a fairly smooth batter. That looks pretty good. I'll set this aside and get started on my cauliflower. Now I do have this bag of pre-cut cauliflower florets, but a lot of these are on the big side. So I am going to cut these down until I have nice bite-sized pieces, and then we're going to toss that in the batter. Once I have about two cups of cauliflower florets ready, I'm gonna to toss these in the batter and pop them into the air fryer. So let's go ahead and put my cauliflower directly into the batter and give this a good toss around to coat everything pretty evenly. Once I have these coated pretty well, I'm going to pick out the cauliflower florets and pop them onto a separate plate. And this is just going to allow any of the extra batter to come off so they're not too doughy when they come out of the air fryer. These are looking good, so I am going to give my air fryer a little spray down with oil so nothing sticks. And I'm just going to pop my cauliflower bites right in here. You don't want to overcrowd things, so make sure none of the cauliflower pieces are touching each other. It's going to let all the edges get nice and crispy. Once they're all in there, I'm just going to give them a little spray, just a quick one of oil on top, so that things get nice and crispy in here. I'll pop that right into the air fryer and set that for 350 degrees and 15 minutes. And while this is cooking in here, let's get started on the sauce. The base of the sauce, of course, is orange, so I am going to zest one washed orange. Just taking off that bright orange shade on the outside. Once you get to that lighter color, and certainly once you get down to the white, you don't want to be zesting that. That's not going to have a lot of flavor. It's actually gonna be a little bit bitter. Once I have the orange zested, I am going to cut this right in half and then get about three quarters of a cup of orange juice out of this. You can either use the orange, why not, because you're already zesting it, or you can get some orange juice from the grocery store. I got about a half a cup out of that one, so I'm gonna cut in half a second orange and get that last quarter of a cup. This sauce is pretty easy. I'm gonna start off with just about a tablespoon of a neutral oil. I'm gonna use canola oil. Pop in one clove of garlic, and about two tablespoons of ginger, and I'm just using the ginger out of the two. And I'll just let this cook over the stove until the garlic and the ginger are smelling pretty good. Now that these are starting to smell pretty nice, I'm going to add in the whites of a couple of green onions. And a super easy trick to cut these really quickly, really easily, let's just take a pair of kitchen scissors and cut right through them, right into the pan. 
Once I start getting up more toward the green part, I'm going to reserve that for later. Now I'll add in my orange juice and about a half cup of brown sugar. And my brown sugar has gotten a little bit hard, but it's okay, we're cooking it down, so this will break it right up. And I'll let that just dissolve in. Next, I'll add in a couple tablespoons of soy sauce, as well as some rice vinegar. And you can add more or less vinegar if you want to adjust the tanginess of it. This is smelling pretty good. I'll add in some red chili flakes. That's optional depending on how spicy you want it. Add in that orange zest. And then to thicken this up, I'm going to add in a little bit of cornstarch. So I have about a half cup of water here and I'll add to that about a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. Mix this up. This is going to prevent any lumps from forming if you mix it into your water in advance. You don't want to add it directly into the sauce. And then as I'm stirring, I'm just going to slowly combine that with the sauce. And then that'll thicken up as this cooks. This is starting to thicken up really nicely and it smells amazing. And I turn down the heat. And then the last ingredient is just a couple teaspoons of sesame oil. And this is ready to mix in with our cauliflower bites. My cauliflower bites finished up in the air fryer just a couple minutes ago and they are looking fantastic. They're golden brown, they're crispy. I think this is gonna come out amazing. I'm gonna take these out of the air fryer and pop them into a little bowl so we can toss them with our sauce and give them a try. Pour a little sauce over the top of these. And we'll give these a toss. I've plated these up and I'll give these a little sprinkle of green onion. These look absolutely fantastic. This smells amazing, so I'm really curious to see if this tastes just as good as orange chicken or at least close enough for being cauliflower. Give it a try. That is pretty close. The sauce for this is pretty spot on. So if you're a fan of the Panda Express orange chicken and you wanted to make this with chicken instead of cauliflower, that would be such an easy swap. And I think you would have a pretty close replica all in the air fryer. That being said, I love this with the cauliflower. So if you're normally a fan of cauliflower wings or if you haven't given that a try yet, I think you would really like this. And I hope you test this recipe out and enjoy it as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon so you can get notified every time I post. As always, you can find the full recipe down in the description box below. I'll also link the two recipes that I pulled from for the cauliflower bites and for the orange chicken sauce in the description box if you wanna see those original recipes as well. You can leave a comment down below if you have an idea for the next recipe that I should try. And I hope to see you back here next time.